everybody welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be showing you all of these christmas books that i have i don't want to show you the covers because i don't want to spoil the surprise and yeah since there's a lot let's get started so the first one that i have is called christmas fun i found this one at the dollar store it has a really cute design at the front it doesn't have a name on it though so i'm just gonna call it christmas fun <laughs> Uh, coloring for mindfulness it was very very inexpensive it was four dollars and has really really cute pictures the picture that I colored in here is this one I really like this this uh, coloring book because it's um, single-sided and you can use markers you just have to put a piece of paper and uh, yes, I use the touch markers on this one. I really like how it's coming out. But what I did notice about this coloring book is that it says 2016. Yep. I bought this at a dollar store. I don't really mind. It was only $4. I can cover it somehow. But if you're really worried about that stuff, maybe you should check your books first. The next book I got was Welcome to the Christmas Market. Um, it was a really cute book. It's really small. You can keep it in your purse. It has these little rub-ons that you can put in the pictures. And it's just a very long coloring book. So it's like that. It doesn't have a name on it, so I can't really tell you. I bought it on Amazon, though, and I'll have all the links below. The next book I got is A, Whim a Whimsy Girl's Christmas by Hannah Lynn. I really wanted to get a Hannah Lynn book and um, because they're very, very cute and you can learn how to do hair and eyes. You can use markers. So yeah, you get 30 of these times two. Yeah, so these are really cute. You get the little thumbnails here. This one's cute. So this one you can use um, markers and just put a piece of paper so it doesn't go through. I haven't colored in this one yet. I want to. Maybe today. Yep. And I bought this one on Amazon. This isn't really Christmassy per se, but it does have Christmas pages and this one is a uh, romantic country the other romantic countries have christmas pages too but this one i actually worked in so i want to show you this one is the third tale and i bought this one on amazon so show you the page that i colored this was actually a buddy color so it's this one I used Prismacolors, uh, Polychromos, and I used paint and some gel pens for the stars and the snow. I really liked how that one turned out. In this book, um, this book I got it from uh, a store called Indigo from Canada. It's called The Nutcracker. I'm sure they sell this on Amazon and I'll put the links below. I really like this one because it's a really cute story. And it's actually the story in the book. It, the front cover is really, really pretty. It has gold foil. And you can even color this part with gel pen. The pa paper quality is really, really nice. And the pictures are really cute. I really like this one. This one's my favorite. It's the one, the one color. So that's the Nutcracker. And this one is by... This one is based on the original story by E.T.A. Hoffman. Yep. The next coloring book that I have is Fairy Merry Christmas by Deborah Miller. And um, this one is actually one of my favorites that, that came in. 
and I got this one from Amazon. And I'll show you the pages that I've colored so far. I just put paper because I like using marker on these type of books. So I did this was the first one that I've done. And I use the touch markers and the touch uh, gel pen that came in the marker set. I also did this one and this one. These were done with uh, Sharpie and the touch markers. I, I'm also working on this one. It's still a work in progress. But this one is being done with a uh, touch marker. So this one is uh, John O'Brien, The Night Before Christmas. And this one is just the poem. So this is a pre-colored page. And it just gives you like a nice inspiration of what you can color. There's the page. You can test your mediums on here. But I know for a fact you can't use uh, markers in this book. Or you can't use paint. Just a heads up. <laughs> This is the, one of the title pages in this book. And I just use Prisma colors on this. I used a new technique that I saw on um, on YouTube that I just wanted to test out. It was uh, dipping your, your, your pencil crayons into Vaseline. And uh, I did that and then the, the colors just came out like that. And then I just used um, the polychromos over here on this side. And I put glitter. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can. <laughs> a lot of glitter because I'm just like, oh, he looks like he's throwing and juggling and being magical. So I just put glitter all over this page. Both pages, actually. And this is the, the next coloring page that I did in this book. And it's just a man. He's reading a book and I like it. Uh, I try to make like really vibrant colors. I used uh, both Prismas and Polychromos in this page. And I used the, the Vaseline technique on here because I didn't want to like be coloring the whole page with one pencil crayon because you can't use markers. But the rest I used straight pencil crayon. And I wanted to start doing this one. This one's my next page that I'm going to start. I want to do... Um, each page and not like jump like how I usually do I actually want to color this and just give it to my son for him to read later so that's the end of my Christmas coloring books I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, don't forget to subscribe and like this video for more coloring book hauls bye